this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to drop ship on eBay from Walmart. If you're interested in making money online, personally, I think that this is one of the easiest ways to do so. This is a very simple business model. And in this video, I'm not going to assume that you already know anything about eBay dropshipping. I'm going to start at the very beginning, but I'm also gonna keep it kind of short and hopefully just give you guys a good overview on the basics because I plan to go more in depth into each individual step in the process in separate videos that I plan to post later this week. So if you're a beginner to eBay dropshipping, then this tutorial will teach you guys the basics of what you need to know to succeed with this business in 2020 and as we go into the new year 2021. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and on my channel, I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustles, basically non-traditional ways of making money. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because it helps out a lot more than you know. So first things first, for those of you that don't know what eBay dropshipping is, dropshipping is an online business model where you don't have to hold an inventory of the products that you sell on your store. With dropshipping, you simply list products in an online store, and when those products sell, you then go to a third-party supplier. In this case, we're going to be using Walmart, and you buy those products for a cheaper price than you sold them for, and have that third-party supplier ship the products directly to your customers, and you get to keep the profit in between. I do always feel the need to add this in all my eBay dropshipping videos. Technically, dropshipping from other retail stores onto eBay is not allowed, and it's actually against their terms of service. So if you get caught, you can get your account suspended from eBay. So if you're interested in starting this business, do so at your own discretion and don't come after me if you follow what I teach you in this video and then end up getting banned from eBay. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's actually get started. Step one in the process of eBay dropshipping is product research. So for this, we are going to go to walmart.com and we're just going to find any product. And guys, sometimes it can be really difficult to find a product at first. You can pick any category that you want. I like to go for the home, furniture, and appliances. But yeah, you can really just go to any category. For this example, I'm going to go to the bookcases category within the home, furniture, and appliances department. Another reason this is a good category to start out in is because there are a lot of products here by the brand Mainstays, as well as Better Homes and Gardens. These are popular brands to drop ship on eBay. So let's use this Mainstays 31-inch three-shelf bookcase as our example. Walmart is selling this for $24 488 so let's keep that in mind. Let's see if this product is being drop shipped on eBay from here. And to do that, we are going to highlight the title here and copy it. Open eBay in a new tab and paste the product title into the search bar. As you can see, some listings have come up, but we want to see if this product has been selling. So over here on the left side of the page, if we scroll down, we can filter the results to only show us sold and completed listings. So we'll click here. Now that we found some sold listings of this product on eBay, we are going to determine whether these eBay sellers are drop shipping from Walmart. So next, we'll open up a few of these listings in separate tabs to see if the product photos, as well as the product description in these eBay listings, match the product photos and description description on Walmart. So let's go back to the Walmart listing and check out the photos and description again. This is what the photos look like. And scroll down to the description. Here it says, add the sleek mainstays three shelf bookcase to almost any room for a functional and stylish look. So now let's go to that first eBay listing. Apparently 17 of these shelves are viewed per day. So that's a good sign that this is a hot product. Now this seller is offering all of the variants that Walmart's offering. So that's why you see the picture of the white shelf and the wood colored one there as well. All of these photos look like the ones from Walmart. So now let's go to the description here. It also says add the sleek mainstays three shelf bookcase to almost any room for a functional and stylish look. So that verifies to us that this eBay seller is in fact drop shipping from Walmart because they just copied and pasted the photos and the product description from there. 
But anyways, if we go and look at the other listings I have opened up here, these photos look very familiar. Let's scroll down to the description. Add the sleek mainstays three shelf bookcase to almost any room for a functional and stylish look. That's the same description as well. So it looks like we found another sold listing of this product from another dropshipper. And if these sellers are dropshipping this shelf from Walmart, then they're most likely dropshipping other products from Walmart. And the crazy thing about eBay is we can actually go into these sellers stores and see what other products they're selling and we can find out where they're drop shipping them from. So that is like the next step within the product research. I would still consider this part of step one product research, but it's sort of like the second part of step one, if that makes sense. Anyways, we are going to check out these sellers. So come to the first listing that I opened up. This seller has 22 stars and 92.3 percent positive feedback so we're going to check them out we can just go through their products and we can go to all of these other sellers as well so with the second listing that i opened up this seller has 428 stars and 98.7 percent positive feedback this seller has 771 items for sale so we're if we don't find anything from the first seller we'll definitely find something from this seller we got pretty lucky with these other sellers sometimes i will find sellers that don't have a lot of other products listed and personally i don't really even bother to check them out. I only like to look through other sellers if they have like a lot of items listed. For this tutorial, I'm looking for other products that they have drop shipped from Walmart, but they could also be drop shipping some of these other products from other retail stores like Amazon, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, even AliExpress, even some other suppliers. So we don't know until we figure out where they're drop shipping these products from. So I'll show you guys how to figure out exactly that. So let's go through this first seller's products and find another product that they're drop shipping from Walmart. Walmart to list ourselves. All right, let's see. They've got this ping pong table, a large inflatable black cat Halloween decoration, a turkey fryer, this crock bot. I think I've listed this before. This cookware set. Let's check this out. This looks like it could be from Walmart. So how do we verify that it is? To do that, we'll scroll down to the product description, highlight just a small portion of it and search for it on Google. As you can see, the first result here is from Walmart, so let's see if it's the same product. So here's this red variation that's sold out, but if we click on this teal option, that looks like the same product. On Walmart, it's $39.97, and our eBay seller has it marked up to $48.63. So let's see if the photos on Walmart match this eBay listing. Yep, those are definitely the same photos. So now that we found our first product in step two, we are going to list it on eBay. You guys might already know how to do this, but for those of you that don't know how to do this, I'm going to go through the process using this product as an example, and I'm going to list it on my own eBay account. So assuming that you already have an eBay account, I'm not gonna show you guys how to set one up, but assuming that you already have one, you're going to come up to the top of the page on eBay and click sell. This is where it gets ridiculously easy. How I like to list my products on eBay is I will literally just copy everything from Walmart into my eBay listing. So first we're going to copy and paste the title and then click get started. So sometimes it'll come up with similar products in the eBay catalog, but here I'm just going to click continue without selecting a product. Now we're going to add the rest of the information for our listing. So after the title, there's an optional subtitle you can add for $1.50, but we're not going to add that. We're only going to add the information that's required. So only the fields that have the red stars next to them. Next, we have category, which eBay already filled in for us. That looks good. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to skip the fields second category variations and UPC because again, these aren't required. However, next Next is condition and that's required. So since we are drop shipping this product from Walmart, it's a brand new product. So for condition, I'm going to put new. Okay, next we come to the photos. So we're going to add the photos from Walmart to our eBay listing, just like that other seller did. So let's go back to Walmart and download all of the photos.
Now that I've downloaded all of the photos, I'm going to come back to eBay and click here where it says add photos and add them for my downloads. Okay, moving on after that, we have more item specifics that are automatically updated. Now we have more required specifics. So for this particular product, eBay requires that we specify which type of stove it's compatible with. I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm going to go back to the Walmart page and see if I can find that information. Here on Walmart under product highlights, it says this product is suitable for all cooking stoves, excluding induction cooking. So I'll go back to eBay and I'm going to type in all stoves, excluding induction cooking. And the brand is also a required field, but that was already automatically filled in as mainstays. So let's move on. As we scroll down, we can add recommended item specifics. These are things that buyers frequently search for, but like I said, I'm lazy, so I skip anything that's not required. So scroll down and here we come to item description. So for this, we'll go back to the Walmart page once again, scroll down to the about this item. I'm going to highlight and copy this whole section, go back to eBay and paste it in my item description. All right, now we come down to selling details. For format, we're going to leave it at fixed price. For duration, leave that as good till canceled. And we're not scheduling this listing, so we can leave that set to start my listings when I submit them. Then we come to price, and I'm going to set the price to $54.99. If we go back to Walmart, you can see it's selling there at $39.97. So before fees, that gives us a profit of $15.02, which is pretty decent. After that, we have quantity. So we can choose to list one or more of this product. And for this, I usually set it to four. Then we have payment options. I have PayPal, so that's what I use to receive payments from my eBay sales. Next, scroll down to shipping details. I've noticed Walmart usually ships with FedEx, so I have services set to FedEx ground. And with my eBay dropshipping products, I offer free shipping. I don't offer international shipping, so that's set to none. Okay, so next is package weight and dimensions. I always have package type set to large package. And for the dimensions, I'll go back to Walmart and try to find the product dimensions. Here on the Walmart page, it says 10 by 15 by five inches. So I'll go back to eBay and put that and then for weight, since I don't have the product, I can't weigh it and I don't really know what to put. So I honestly just wing it. And for this product, I'm going to put five pounds. Okay. So after that, we're finally done. So we can click list item. And it's literally that simple. So after you list that product, you can go through the other sellers and all the products that they also have. And you can repeat the process as much as you want and list as many products as you want. Like I said, I think we really got lucky in this video because sometimes it takes me a lot longer to find winning products and other dropshippers like that. This whole process can get very tedious and boring. So that's really why I don't do it that often. It's just very time consuming. Anyways, now let's talk about what happens when you get a sale with eBay dropshipping. You'll simply go back to that supplier's website Website that you're using. In this case, it's going to be Walmart. And we're simply just going to find that product again, type in the name of the product. Again, you can literally just copy and paste the, the title of the product into the Walmart search bar and find the original Walmart listing. So once you find the product, add it to cart and check out. All you have to do is put the customer's name, address, city, state, zip code in the checkout information. That will all be available to you on eBay when you go to the order details of that sale. However, when going through checkout on Walmart, you'll also be required to add a phone number, I think an email as well. For the email, you definitely want to do your own because they'll send you updates on the order and they won't give you the tracking number of the item right after you check out. So they'll email it to you after a few days and then you'll want to go back to eBay and add the tracking number in for the order information. But yeah, at checkout, Walmart will also require a phone number. So for this, I just add my phone number in. I don't really see the point in messaging the customer to ask them for their phone number. I don't really know why Walmart requires this because I never get updates on the order through my phone number, through text or anything like that. So I think it's weird, but I don't think it's a big deal. So I just add my own phone number and I haven't had any issues so far doing that. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video. Like I said, I'm going to be going in depth into other steps in the process of eBay dropshipping in videos that are coming later this week. So anyways, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys got a better understanding of eBay dropshipping from this tutorial. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and hit the 
subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.